all right so in this video what we are going to do is we are going to connect uh, the marvel mw302 board to the aws thing that we just created so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to go to this github page and uh, we are going to clone this repository uh, locally so yeah so i've already copied it here so a get clone so the instructions for uh, so while it is cloning the instruction for setting up your development can be development host can be found uh, on the wiki page for the same uh, github repo i'll make sure i link it in the description of the video right uh, let me just All right, so now we have cloned the repository. Let's take a look at it. So it has got a make file, a readme, a build folder, a sample apps folder, and WMSDK. What we are going to do now is we are going to upload the latest release. Uh, depending on when you have got the board, uh, you may not have the latest release of the firmware that's required. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and I'm going to fetch this here so that I can upload the latest blob, the latest binary blob to the board. To do this, uh, we need a tool called OpenOCD uh, to be installed, uh, in this case on my Mac OS, but it can be on your Windows or your Linux machine. The instructions, as I said previously, are all available on this wiki page. All right, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use this particular uh, file flash.py uh, to upload the blob that I just downloaded right so what I'm going to do is flash.py dash f and this blob and uh, yeah before that we'll have to connect the board so I'm going to connect this board like this uh, and I'm going to make sure uh that it is seen on my usb okay so yeah so i can see this board on my usb serial but i should be seeing only one of them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to again go back to the instructions uh, and there are some specific steps that mac users have to follow yeah so sudo kext unload so we have to unload and reload the drivers for USB FTDI so that the board is visible properly uh, otherwise we can have issues with connecting to it over serial all right so now when I do uh, yeah so now I can only see USB serial 1413B instead of 1413A and B uh, I'm going to start a serial console and right. all right great so now uh, we are ready to flash the blob that we just downloaded using the flash.py script which is there in the github repo All right, so reset flash to factory settings done. And if I press, yeah, so if I press the reset button on the board, which is here, uh, you can see that the uh, AWS starter demo has now started and it will start blinking uh, this particular LED right here, right? Uh, you can see the serial console in the background on my terminal. The next, it says that it has started a micro AP, AP stands for access point, called AWS Starter F2C2. So let go, let's go to my Wi-Fi settings and I should be able to see a new access point by that name. Yeah, I can see AWS Starter F2C2. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect uh, to this board. And uh, I'm going to open a new 
page 192.168.10.1. So this uh, server, uh, this HTTP server is hosted on the development board itself and we'll be using that to input the private key that we yeah. all right so the next thing that we are going to do is after going to the url 192.168.10.1 we are going to say provisioning uh, this is the name of the thing that we created so if you go here and see the name is test123 uh, the region is us west 2 you can find this uh, here in the url of your console us west 2 and uh, the certificate and the private key so the uh, what we're going to do is i'm going to open this certificate and private key that we downloaded earlier uh, from aws iit in the previous video and yeah so this is the so this is the certificate i'm going to say control all select all uh, copy uh, and i'm going to paste it here similarly for the private key i'm going to select this entire file and I'm going to paste it here right and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say submit now it will show me the list of Wi-Fi access points that are there around me I'm going to select one of them uh, and I'm going to input the password for it so that uh, the board connects to it so as you can see uh, it started blinking it's already started blinking when it went into the access point mode uh, and now it is trying to connect to the device yeah so now it's trying to connect to the access point and uh, as you can see on my terminal it connected successfully to the configured network publishing state reported pb0 pb lambda 0 led 0 right so now it is successfully connected to my wi-fi uh, access point uh, and from that it has been uh, talking to the AWS IRT thing that we created earlier. So, yeah, I'm going to go to AWS IRT and uh, if we refresh this state, it will show that uh, it is in sync and now it has a new shadow version and these are the values.